episode four of Hell's Paradise, and I think we finally slowed down a bit. We did. I think we're, we're building a little bit of world. Yes. We're checking out on the island a little bit. A little more backstory yeah. with Sigiri. Which I'm um, okay with because I do. More, I like her. She's a woman. She can't be here. Just go home and make babies. Right. Um, the woman's role, apparently. Yeah. Uh, and th during that time in history. Absolutely. Granted, that was exactly it was what given. it was. Yes. And they're trying to put modern sensibilities in to the show that was in a time where that wasn't... Oh, no. If we really saw a reenactment of that time period in any... Hell, Vinland Saga at that. Like, any time period like that, we're not... It's definitely not. Yes. No. But Sigiri, uh, when she was getting this talking to, yeah, like a the child... Preach, the guy was preaching to her. And he took. she took his sword like it was hers. That was smooth. That was very smooth. That I did smooth. like that moment. Now, because he did say, hey, your sword got broke. This is your heart. Like, this is everything that you are as a samurai. Is it really? Yeah. Huh. Right. I well, guess he I, did yeah. have two of them. That's true. So, but she was quick. Didn't even notice like a flash. I actually thought Gabamaru came over and took it. Like, he just flashed it in order to protect his new wife. So, we did get a more backstory of another convict, which was something else that you were really looking forward to. Turns out it's a girl who is only here because she was trying to help her village yeah and, and it's a circumstance wrong, thing because right. they were and going after doing the wrong thing and like yeah. going the wrong direction trying to be free and not under the rule of the the shogun thing. and i like how her uh guard realizes that and like you don't belong here. right you aren't the same as them and vowed to protect her it's gonna be the strongest relationship in this world it's pretty cool and he, well it was the first rank i believe we've ever gotten of one of the uh shogun what do you mean he was ranked 10. Oh, I didn't catch that. Yeah, so when they were in the boat when he was rowing, it flashed on the screen real quick that he was ranked 10. So he must be good. Yeah, 10, I'm guessing there's a lot more than 10. But so he, they ran into some sea creatures. Yeah, and we find out that getting off the island is not something you're going to do just because you want to. Yeah, just rowing out because everything that they were going to, all the ships were destroyed. Yes. All the phallic-looking tentacles were out of the water. The crackers and were all yeah. around. Yeah. And then it zoomed out. Did you see the map? Yeah. That had, like, all the broken ships, like, around it. And, like, there's got to be one. obviously trying to turn around and didn't go so Yeah, well. you just... Yeah. Someone... that You can get out. They've realized that because that one guy did come back. I do like the world building so far. I like the idea of the island... Uh, the idea yeah. that, like, when you go there, this idea of, like, the elixir of immortality is something that everyone's chasing. Right. And every flower you see, every creature that you see is all something that used to be yeah. human. They're living probably forever. And it's just they've imagined, no, 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 it's just this beautiful little thing. You just drink it. You don't change. You're going to be yeah. the same way forever. When in reality, you just become, like, this deformed, well, ugly Yeah, looking. right. Like, what happens if, like, the fish man was one that found it? Exactly. Like, those things. But... This episode, so aside from all the tentacle fighting and the uh, hentai, the, we were um, building this group over here of, like, Gabamaro and, and yep. the team because they were learning to eat food. They were learning to, like, look around. They were trying to, like, get a plan together. They were, they were trying to do different things to realize, like, and Gabamaro even played like he didn't even know what the elixir of life was. But his people because obviously do. He didn't want the other ninja knowing. Yeah, that, that girl is going to be wild. Yes. And I thought they would have at least had one scene with Sagiri going, why is he lying to her but was honest with me? I guess it's implied that she understands well, that love. he's only telling her what she needs they to They will know. be together by the end of oh. the show. <laughs> That's your hot take? I, You know what? Why not? Sagiri and Gabi Maru? Yeah. They, they're already they bonding are. on an emotional level. Where do you go from that he's after physical? He's pretty soft, too. Like, he has a soft side. Whenever he's yeah. not, like, engaged, he, to he her. can... her. Yeah. No, to, like... As you picked up, like, well, yeah, she protects him. Yeah. She, like, or he protects her. And... That comes out of nowhere. Like, I don't know if he feels some kind of bond with her. I, I don't... Maybe because it, we've talked before, how they're coming from the same area. They are both growing in their own path, trying to become something different than Alongside they currently are. Alongside each other. Yeah, she wants to become the and best samurai. And he feels her and she yep. feels him. And which I like that relationship. That's a great friendship, I've been, though. I've Even if it's it. just a friendship. Right. That's what friendship should be. Yeah. You should be feeding off of each other to be progressing forward Because you know damn well, he w Gabby Mara would not have put up with that samurai talking to Scary like that. <laughs> I mean, obviously someone else had an issue with it. The Our Texas Chainsaw Massacre guy here it showed up. Okay. So I thought the episode was pretty slow. Absolutely. And I minus the tentacles. Slow doesn't mean bad. No, no. Slow no, just no. means like Was it a nine point five? No. No. Right. Like but, in the eights. But is it necessary to build a world? Yes. Yeah. Except for the last second. 
I, did, I thought that that mean dude who was yelling her to be a woman was going to stick around a bit. Yeah, for all that talking about all how manly you are. And she like, tried to if tell you, him. If she just went home and made some babies and let me do my job, I would do this. And I'd bring it home. God <laughs> damn, man. And just... But the best thing is, though, now she has two swords. <laughs> She's going to take his. Next episode should be Gabby Morrow versus this beast. Because you think, right, like, does he have a weakness? Obviously, Gabby Morrow is going to be able to beat him. But I think, like, it, something's just, I like that character because, like, you don't know anything about him. You don't know what he looks like, what makes him more menacing Probably and more intimidating. Talk. I don't think he does. Yeah. He eats people. So, like, he is a, a problem. You think we're going to get some backstory with him? Ugh. <sighs> I, you know me and backstory. As I would a love kid, it. He just wanted to fit in. Everyone he ever met mm-hmm. bullied the shit out of him until one day he just snapped and he ate every one of his bullies. Yes, he got bigger. And he realized that the more he ate, the bigger he got. I'd be happy with that in visual aspect. Yeah, yeah for exactly. Sure, for just sure. yeah, just show me <laughs> eating a couple thighs yeah. and shit. Yeah. Because he doesn't care enough to take his mask off. He's got the one eye, doesn't eat them both. And uh, he doesn't I strike just, me as the good convict, like the little girl. He strikes right. me as a dude that's probably there because he should be. And I'm trying to realize like how far <laughs> they are away from the camp. Because like the one samurai, the little nerdy one that sews, um, I like him. What I think a he's like he is. Yeah, he's like the more intellectual one, more yeah. so than. But uh, let's see him pop off. He might be great. Uh, be like the dude what if from all uh, that of them fighting have to game. Fight him together. I think they might have. Which to. which fighting game? Hold on, let me. Street help you Fighter. Up. No, not Street Fighter. Tekken. Bob? Bob's not an old dude, but he's definitely hefty. No, the big boy. Oh, the big boy, yeah. Yeah, Bob. but he, remember how fast he moved? Oh, yeah. So, like, that's what, maybe that samurai, the, the one with the glasses reminds me of. All like, right. you never. I see that. Yeah, like, just gone. Like, All right. He's there for a reason. Because Bob could move. Yeah, he could. He was one of my favorites. Yeah, MF could just be doing yeah. flips all over the place. Yeah, for Maybe a larger gentleman. Pound self, just yeah. going here doing aerials and shit, <laughs> kicking you in the forehead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so even though it was slow, it was necessary, mm-hmm. and it did end on a climax. It still made me go, well, another seven days yeah, of bullshit. Yeah. That was a good, you know, I've been really in the shows with the cliffhangers, yeah. and this one I was like, ooh. Yeah. Man, what's going to happen? Obviously, man's dead. He's missing half the side with a swipe. So far for Pilot. Yeah, this by far one of the best season ones I've ever seen. Yeah, it's, it's fantastic. By far. Gabby Morrow, first of all, is a name for a protagonist. Gabby Morrow, I the enjoy hollow. It. Just, right, it well, just and the hollow just really well. well. Uh, yep, yes. Okay. Yeah, tomorrow the hollow is, yes. mm-hmm. and everyone knows him as that, which is scary. And I like the like fact he's that established title. in this universe. Yeah. Oh yeah. We don't have to watch his progression, which I don't hate, but we are I in do. a different way. Yeah. Well, it's just his continuation right. of his saga. Basically. He's just becoming yeah. a a better person. He doesn't want to violence to kill anymore. Now he's there to get free, get to his wife, and just live. And I love the fact that he has this mental load of I can kill anyone I want in my sleep. I don't want to do it yeah. anymore. But he I'm will if he has to, unlike Thor. And, and if I have to, I'll carry your soul along with me, too. Yeah. Fuck around and find out. He's got a nice coat of souls. But anyway, that wraps up episode four of Hell's Paradise. Hell's and if you like what we're doing, make sure to like, subscribe, and we will see you at episode five. <laughs>